So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the most efficient way to build a one product store in 2023 without having to spend a long time doing it. So you can test more products, you can test faster, you can test more efficient. And this video is going to be all about showing you how you can do that without really compromising on the quality of the final product. So on the quality of the store, you can still do it quickly without really sacrificing the looks and the brand approach. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do today. But before we start, we need to understand the framework behind what we're going to do. And that means understanding how a customer's journey psychologically takes place when they land on your page for the first time, they don't know your product, don't know nothing about you, they're completely top of funnel and they're going to uh, make a buying decision or they're going to consider making a buying decision. And a very good way to explain that journey is through the ADA principle, which is mostly applied to copywriting. It's very useful here as well. So that's what I'm going to start by doing. I'm going to scribble a little bit on my iPad to explain my thought process and how I structure the page through the ADA principle and then I'm going to go on my Shopify store and I'm going to be building the store using an app called Section Store which makes the process very very quick very very easy without really compromising on the quality of the store. So let's get started with the ADA principle note here. So the ADA principle if you haven't heard about this before this is extremely useful in copywriting it means attention first interest desire and action and this is very important because this is a very good illustration of customers journey as he lands on your page up until the point where you could eventually convert and buy a product. First, the attention is basically getting their attention and this happens mostly on the ad because that's where you're going to capture attention. So it's not really within the scope of the video, but I would still like to make a note here that when you already have attention, it's also important to retain that attention. So if you've already captured your customer's attention through the ad, it's still important that your store is not built in a very boring way so that people just see like a wall of text and they're going to go like, yeah, I'm not interested enough to read all of this and they just go away because the most fragile part of the consumer journey on your website is at the top of the page when they land on the page they've just been kind of convinced by your app that they would want to learn more but they're still not sold on the idea so if you show them like bad pictures at the top or a boring title that looks like an amazon title or a wall of text they're not going to be willing to put in the effort to read through all of that they're just going to leave so so capturing attention is one thing retaining attention is a different thing and while capturing attention is completely on the app retaining attention is important on the website. The way you do this is by not using walls of text, using quality pictures, making it dynamic, making it interesting. So when people land on the website, they want to continue looking at it. They don't just, oh, there's 30 lines of text here. I'm definitely not going to read this and they go away. So focus on the retention aspect of attention here on the website. Retention is going to be the most important part because of course you already have attention in the first place or they wouldn't be on your website. Then interest is, you know, what is this? How how does it benefit? How does it benefit me? So we're going to be answering these two questions in the interest section of the website. And if you think about it, that's the section that comes right after the header. So first, you need to make sure that you retain attention. It's not super boring to look at. It's visually appealing. And then the second thing is you need to be able to explain to the customer right away, what is this and how does it benefit them? This being the key point, how does it benefit them is the answer to why is this worth my time? If it benefits me, then it's worth my time. So we got to answer these two questions right after. So desire is about explaining why they want to have it. It's about persuading them into having it. It's about getting them to understand how this is going to make their life easier. So it's a transition from this question into persuading the customer, creating desire. If the desire is not there, because logic and emotions are two different things. And when you're answering this question here, how does it benefit me? You're mostly going for a logical approach. How is this going to make my life better? Whereas if you create desire, you're mostly going for the emotional approach, you're trying to appeal on either wealth, health or relationships to make the product more appealing. So they will want it logically, they will be able to logically justify the purchase, but they will also be emotionally inclined to make the purchase. So you want to address these two sections, you want to go for interest and approach it logically, but you also want to go for desire approach it emotionally. Now the fourth side of this, the last part of this is getting the customer to take action, right? Now to take action, there's a few things you got to do one of them being addressing objections you have to address the customer's objections and this is where something like the reviews come in and if you've watched some of my previous videos i always talk about the importance of having reviews on your store and this is why because one of the main objections for a customer buying online is is this store trustworthy is this product any good is this a scam is this a cheap product from china you know all of these objections and the reviews will help you address that so you make sure that you have legitimate reviews written in proper english because that is going to 
directly address one of the customer's main objections in their decision to buy your product. So this is the framework. We have it right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to translate this onto a website structure. So we're going to take these principles, apply it on our website. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the product I used for this is a product that is in my list of winning products for this month. If you haven't checked it out, I'll leave a link in the corner here. I'm going to go with product number three, this phone handle, because it was one of my favorite products from this list. So I've already added it onto my Shopify store. Let me just show you here what the settings are. On the store, we have a free theme, so we're not spending any money on the theme. We have the refresh theme and we have very important an app called Section Store. And Section Store is the sponsor of this video. Um, Section Store sent me a review copy of the app so I could try it out, review it for you guys. And uh, let me show you how this app works. And you're going to see why this is very helpful to build a store faster without really compromising on the quality. So what this does is it gives you sections that you can add to the theme, which is Shopify 2.0, meaning that theme has already got some sections built into it. But problem with the free themes is they don't have enough sections to do everything that you want to do. And Section Store makes it possible that you can use your own sections, import them into the theme and use it on the theme. So it's not a page builder. You don't have to get any complicated app to do it. You just get the sections from Section Store, put it on your theme, your Shopify 2.0 free theme, and you can use it on your theme, which is really, really useful without having to get like 50 apps to do this, because these are the sections that I'm going to use here. And if you can look at these sections, you would need a few different apps to do it, like recommended products, like reviews, trust badges, payment icons, you know, all of these things would require you to get other apps to do it and then pay for individual apps. And instead of that, you just have one app that gets the sections uploaded onto your theme and you can use it from the theme. So let's go on to the theme and let's actually build the product page. So very quickly, what I've done is this logo, nothing too fancy. It's a logo from Canva, you know, just white, black, transparent background, put it on here and then 3D in one magnetic camera handle. And we have a quick product description, which is adapted from the same description that I gave you guys on the free document on my product research video for me. So I've added a few sections here from the theme. We have this one, we have this one, and we have this one. And now we're going to use the sections from Section Store to fill in those steps that we just discussed in the Ada. So the first is the attention and the retention. Um, this is the name of the store here. We're going to get rid of this because this is really not doing anything. And we want to make it as visually appealing as possible, meaning when the customer lands on the page, it's not like a boring website. It's got some colors. Um, it's got a nice graphic appeal to it and there's no walls of text. So that's why I've made it very colorful here. And the only thing that we still need to fix is the fact that there is a lot of text. And this is something that will happen when you go on your Shopify store, you go on your product and then on your product, you just drop all the text and it's going to look not very good because, you know, it's just a wall of text and we don't want this. This most people are not going to read this. You want to make it engaging. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this text or rather we can hide the description here. There you go. And now we're going to use section store to build these sections and make it look a lot nicer. So first one is the interest, right? And we're going to give the customers a logical reason to buy our product. And the logical reason to buy the product is that it just saves you money. If you do phone photography, if you use your phone to take pictures and videos a lot, you're going to have a bunch of different tools that are all built into this just one tool. So a gimbal, you know, selfie stick, you know, Know, shutter control, you can control the photos with Bluetooth, all of those tools. You can also hold the light so it can do a lot of things. Let's make it interesting and say, and let's do with one simple device, you can now enjoy the same functionality that would require multiple expensive add-ons to your phone photography equipment. Now this button here, we're not going to need the button here at this point. We're going to want to add something to make it more engaging here. And this is where we're going to add a section from section store. So we've imported the sections. This is how you use it, by the way. Let me show you. You go on section store and then you click add the theme, refresh when you have your sections. Then if you want to get more sections, you can go here. You can buy individual sections here or you can go on bundles and you can get bundles of sections from here as well. You know, all of these got pretty much everything you need to set up one store. So you go here, you click refresh live. And by the way, if you want to try out section store, I will leave a link in the description below so you 
can check it out and let's go back on the store now i've added this one right here the video banner because this product does have a pretty good video so we're going to go here and we were going to use the video banner all right so now i'm going to use the video banner from section store to make this look nicer sorry got get rid of the button um the text is a bit different because you know i've lost the session that i had before for some reason i had to redo everything from scratch so yeah forgive me for the slight difference in the copy but we move on so let me get the video section from section store video banner there you go now we want to drag this up right below this and we're going to use our video so video slide so now i'm going to show you guys how you can use this video banner um, you have to download it onto your shopify settings so you go to settings you go to files where is it to upload a video you want to go to content and you want to go to files and they upload the video here then you get the link of the video go back to the store and on your section store video banner you go and add there there you go and now text won't pop you know if you don't use this the text is hard to read and then you can do it a bit more on the text here i don't think i'm gonna write anything else because i think it looks better like this and uh yeah we just leave it like this i think i like it like this because we've already written this here so phone photography simplified then you give them a demonstration of how it works now if you remember we gotta make sure that people understand how this benefits them so in order to do that we are going to add a detailed explanation of features so everything that the product does will be explained right here so it can do it all and now we're going on the ad here i'm just going to show you guys the ad mute this for copyright and here is the ad i get the ad so if you guys remember this was the ad that i showed you guys in the winning products video and i want to show you exactly what it does so you guys can write the features and you understand what i'm going for so we are going to add a few of the features i don't want to take too long but we're going to add some of the features here we're going to say here at a bullet point and we're going to do MagSafe charger, gimbal, phone holder with shutter control, Bluetooth. And we're going to do power bank as well. And, you know, you can continue to add all of the features. You get the point. I don't want to take too long to do this. Okay, so we're going to add image now. We don't want to add any of these boring images. I downloaded all of the images. Um, they're right here on the desktop. So we're going to choose a nice image. I downloaded all of them from the AliExpress page. So you want to use a nice lifestyle image. Let me see. This one is kind of boring. This one is all right. This one doesn't look good. This one looks good. And this is an important feature. So I think we're going to add this one going to add this picture right here so button link we're going to add a button link to the product page because this means it's just going to scroll back up and go to the add to cart button which is where we want people to go and then we want to add some things from section store because this still looks very simple so we want to make it a little bit better we're going to add a few things here we're going to add the scrolling text one because it looks very nice and we are going to put it just under the video right there and and this is perfect way to say phone holder, gimbal, power bank, uh, selfie stick, mic safe charger. Now the text needs to be a bit smaller. Text is way too big and maybe even a bit slower. Yeah, because it goes too fast. Looking better now. Okay, let's add some more sections here. Let's get the, we can put the testimonials up here. The testimonials are going to be on the bottom. I will get to this in a minute, but uh, the testimonials actually here. And then this, we give it a button so people can scroll back up and add to cart because you always want to give them another option to click and go to the add to cart button because obviously that is the most important button that you want your customers to click and let's add some more sections here let's do the upselling so after the testimonials we are going to add let's say payment icons yeah i like the payment icons we want to do this but we don't want to do this here we want to do this inside of the product information okay so we've added the payment Payment icons. I just wanted to make sure that it works though. So there we go. Payment icons are there. And by the way, you don't really want to add the spammy trust badges. Um, you want to go for something that looks clean on brand looks like like these icons here they look really nice make sure to remove any of the payment methods that you don't use like if you don't have Klarna remove them it's very easy to remove them you have them all right here and only leave the ones that do matter the share button we don't want this let's get rid of the share button here yeah there we go we gotta save again there we go we got our payment items uh, sorry we got our payment icons and no share button anymore this thing here we don't need this text here it's useless let's get rid of it let's get rid of that save again so we can see our payment icons again there we go okay 
it's looking better now we got the reviews let's see what else we can add in here let's see this one is a very interesting one as well the circle menu so the circle menu we're going to add it at the top right here so this is a very interesting thing uh, you can use this to do um different collections for example let's say these products here were different collections right you can use this one i really like this one you can customize these bubbles to use different products or different collections if you want to do the upsell and you can do the upselling in a very clean way i just wanted to show you this section because i think it's really cool it kind of reminds you of the instagram story circles it doesn't really match this one because this is a one product store so we're going to hide it but i just wanted to show you guys it can be a really cool uh, little section to use if you're using a niche store and not a one product store like this one and then we're going going to use I think we're going to just add a picture here let's get a picture let's add this one for example and we are going to get an overlay here because the picture is way too bright there you go then the text is a bit too big now if we put it to the left it'll probably be like this one so it moves as you move it's a nice little feature and now we gotta edit the text here so for the text we're going to use level up and you can just set up the buttons to be add to cart buttons again fill in the reviews right there um, i'd recommend you use amazon reviews because they're usually written in better english than aliexpress reviews and there you go you've got a very simple template let me show you the live page so you've got a very simple template that you can use to test a product without you know i've done this in literally 15 minutes you just add the pictures add some better text obviously i wasn't uh, paying too much attention to the text because i just wanted to show you guys how to do this but but, you know, with maybe extra 15 minutes, 45 to one hour in total, you have a product page that you can test and it doesn't look like a scammy AliExpress dropshipping page. So, you know, go ahead and make the most of it. Speed up your testing because the more you test, the faster you test, the more efficiently you test, the more likely you are to find a winning product. And yeah, thanks for sticking around and I will see you in the next one.